Hi, I'm Hub Arcus for Pro Football Weekly, here with our players to watch in our key college games. And of course, for that, we welcome in senior editor Nolan Naraki. Nolan, also our lead talent evaluator and the author of Pro Football Weekly's Draft Preview Guide magazine and Draft Preview book. And Nolan, we'll start with number two Alabama versus number three Georgia. You could probably say half the kids on the field could be in the NFL, but in particular, a couple players you've identified. Yeah, junior linebacker C.J. Mosley is the one that really stands out on Alabama. He's been uh, a tackling machine the last couple weeks. I think he's really going to key that defense this week. Uh, they're going to need a big game from him. He's projects as a first to second round type of talent. Uh, very similar to Darrell Washington in uh, Arizona right now. Just uh, makes plays to the sideline and uh, has great range. And then on Georgia you have uh, Bakari Rambo who came out this week and said uh, the Bulldogs were more talented than uh, Alabama. And they are in a number of positions. Uh, at safety, uh, you know, they do have an edge with uh, Sean Williams and Rambo. Rambo to me is uh, more of a third round prospect in this year's draft. Has some character issues. Uh, doesn't have uh, a real physical presence after getting injured a couple of years ago and uh, projects as more of a mid-round pick. It's been an interesting debate about the talent on these two teams. Some people feel this is the real national title game, but it is just for the SEC. We move over to the Big 12 where number 18 Texas will be at number 6 Kansas State and another safety I think you like a lot. Yeah, Kenny Vaccaro could be the top safety in this year's draft. I think he's going to be competing with Eric Reed from LSU, the junior who could declare this year. Uh, Vaccaro, to me, moves like a little safety despite being a big uh, player, six foot, 215 pounds, and he, he hits like a ton of bricks. Uh, I think he'll be a clear first round talent in this year's draft. Also in the Big 12, we've got number 23, Oklahoma State. They're visiting Baylor and uh, more defensive backs, huh? Yeah, cornerback Justin Gilbert has struggled this season, got off to a very slow start after a great sophomore season. He's kind of been in the coach's doghouse this year. I think uh, there's a good chance he will declare this year, and I think he's uh, got a chance to fit in the top 50 picks. Some great college football for you to watch this weekend and some key players to keep an eye on as they project to the National Football League. That'll do it for this week's edition of Players to Watch. For all the best, though, in talent evaluation, news notes, and NFL news in particular, stay with us at ProFootballWeekly.com, 24 hours a day, seven days a week.